Look at that view. What a morning. You hear that train back there? It's over there. Train. Hey, Will Webb, good morning. That train just keeps on trucking on. It doesn't listen, it doesn't listen to itself, even if it's tired. That train in the background, they already made a decision. Somebody already made that decision on where that train was gonna go and nothing's gonna stop it. This morning, <coughs> I wake up every morning at 4.59. Every morning I wake up at 4.59. The reason why I wake up at 4.59 is I just like the fact that I'm waking up with a four. Hey guys, good morning. I like the fact that I'm waking up with a four in front of my number. But this morning I was extremely tired. Very tired. And I hate to run. Hey, I appreciate everybody getting on here. Good morning, everybody. I mean, I literally hate running. But it helps me control my weight and my fitness. So I really, hey David, hey Ronnie Martin, the best banker I know. This morning, <clears throat> I almost allowed my emotions to talk me out of doing something that I've got to do. And one thing that I have studied from successful people is uh, they don't listen to their emotions. They don't listen to what their their mind might may, may be telling them they don't listen to uh how they feel successful people don't wait on motivation successful people honor their commitments their drive what they want to do and for me this morning the way i the way i justify this is what happens to me if i don't do this hey i'm gonna become fat I'm getting fatter right now it's hard for me to control my weight because i'm I'm eating like shit. I'm not working out. I mean, I ran two miles this morning, but I mean, it was it was tough. I mean, it was a lot tougher than it was two months ago because I believe you get better in little bitty bits, but I, I think you lose things in big chunks. I mean, I'm out here struggling to, to clip off 12 minute miles because I've allowed myself to get out of shape. I tell you what I've done is I've listened to myself in the morning when I didn't want to commit. And I, and, I, and I have given in to that emotion. So what successful people do is they don't listen to that. Hey, that's right, BJ, it's, it's due every day. You don't ever own it. So even the most successful people you know, every one of them, they battle. They battle themselves. They battle if they really want to do something. The successful people don't give in to it. Like my buddy Ronnie Martin, I'm sure there's days he doesn't want to be at the bank on a Saturday morning, but he asks himself this, what happens if he doesn't do it? What happens if you don't do your commitments? <laughs> hey, that's all I've got this morning. So I do believe in running and exercise. I believe your body hears everything your mind says to itself. And you got to fight through that. Because today, I didn't want to run. I'm thankful Brittany Renee told me to stop listening to myself. Because this morning, I was, doing, I was listening to myself. Hey, I don't want to go out here. It's 34 degrees. I don't want to get out here and run. But I did it. And now, going into the day, I've got a little more confidence. i got a little more toughness. i got a little bit more of an edge to me than I would have if I would not have done this. So, hey, stop listening to yourself. Honor your commitments, make a commitment, and then start talking to yourself. And what I mean by that is your emotions, your mind, your mind will tell you you don't want to do something. And it tells everybody that. But the people you know that are very successful, they fight through that. So, hey, I feel better about myself. Even though my time sucked, I got to get back into this. I got to quit being such a badass. Pardon my language, but I... I'm just keeping it real, friends. Hey, have a great day. Stop listening to your mind if it ain't telling you what you don't want to hear.